Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5. So, there was a new inside look that was released just yesterday, so we're going to be breaking that down. Also, there's some new photos for the Time Bomb episode, so both things are from this week's episode. So, Tuesday night, get ready, this is going to be amazing. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is one of my most anticipated episodes, and I'm sure it is for many of you guys, because this is the episode where Barry and the team find out about Nora working with Reverse Flash. So that's been a secret that has been going on since the mid-season finale, when we got the amazing reveal of Reverse Flash actually, you know, being the mastermind behind all this. And it seems like this is the episode where it all comes into fruition, and, you know, Everyone's going to be aware that Nora's been working with Reverse Flash. We know after this episode is going to be the freaking Godspeed episode. And Barry and Nora are going to be in the future in 2049. And we're going to see Godspeed. But also, presumably, they're going to confront Thorn. And I just cannot wait. So, let's talk about the inside look. And then we'll talk about the photos just after that. So... As we start the trailer, we see the shot from last episode, and it's the team facing off against the new cicada, that being Grace, and so she's officially confirmed to be from the future, we'll talk about that in a second, but Nora says this in the voice overlay, and it's all in a panic. Something went wrong. We got Dwyer, we gave him the cure, this should all be over, but another cicada shows up. And this is all to Thorn. And you can most definitely tell about this that it is Thorn because, as you know, it sort of flows later in the tra in the inside look. Sorry, the dialogue sort of all syncs up, but also it's like, who does she go to when she screws up? When things go wrong, she goes to Eobard Thorn. She doesn't go to anyone else normally because that is the person who is controlling everything. And you know, as they said last episode, the timeline is changing and they had no idea what to predict and the timeline changed so she goes back to 2049 she's like i have no idea what just happened a new cicada showed up we used the messy human cure on the other cicada and what the hell was going on so again she's just as confused but then we move on and so todd helbing the showrunner is again narrating this whole inside look as he normally does and also, just to point out, he's going to be stepping down next season. If you missed any of my recent videos, so that we'll have a new showrunner next season. So check out those videos. And so the next shot is of Grace, and this is confirmed by the showrunner Todd Helbing that this is in fact future Grace because obviously we presumed it and we saw the trailer. There was a time like travel pod or whatever they call it I forgot the name but reverse flash used it in season one and I'm fairly sure to use those machines you can't just sort of just take off I think you do need someone to open a breach for you so like a speedster or someone who has breach powers so again that could lean into the idea of you know her her working with godspeed and so he confirms that in fact yes this is future grace gibbons and she says in the trailer to kill she comes back to kill every last meta and so she's essentially taking up the mantle of cicada whilst obviously her father or her adoptive father could not actually use his powers because they use the meta human cure and in this version of the future somehow she you know takes over she goes and she comes back from the future and she's in the past and now she's here to kill all the metas like I guess in the past just due to the fact that now Cicada's got the meta human cure you know no one's gonna be Cicada for a long time and maybe she felt the need to come back I'm, I'm a bit a little bit confused on that bit but then we see this reverse shot and it's of Cicada of Dwyer and he looks very very confused he's like huh how the hell is Grace here from the future I swear she's in a coma so that's going to be interesting and also, I think he's going to be a bit confused as to how she, you know, got the powers and so on and how she came back. But I think that was pretty much clarified in the trailer, how she got back in that time machine. So then we move on to the most interesting part and we see Nora in 2049 with Reverse Flash and he's in his prison cell. We actually see he's got a bed there. We haven't seen that before, which is interesting, but he's has sort of given up. 
and this is due to all the changes that he wasn't even able to predict at all not even with them slowly manipulating the timeline just bit by bit and you know everything has really really changed and I think that's probably a result of Nora being around so much but then we see what they say is there's a massive wrinkle in Thorne's plan and so he says there is one left one thing left to do you tell your father everything and then we see this shot of Nora and she's just like tearing up she's like so shocked like how can I actually tell my father this how on earth is this gonna work we see this shot of reverse flash and it's in close-up because it's sort of like this distorted perspective of like you know how he's manipulated everything and it's all not worked and now he's saying to Nora you have to tell your father you're working with your greatest enemy that is just like a oh shit moment and I can't wait for that in the episode and so then we move on and so as I said Nora doesn't want to do this then it cuts over to Barry and this is just a normal shot of him and it goes over to Cisco and Cisco says time travel sucks so this is most likely when they find out that Grace is a time traveler when they find that you know time travel pod but then we move on and this is the last bit of the trailer and this is probably the most interesting part apart from that you know massive reveal earlier in this is that Sherlock Wells actually finds out about everything he has put all the pieces together and we see him with the full journal full translations and he's able to read it so I'm gonna read through just a little bit of it and you guys can you know pause it and read the rest if you want but I'm just gonna go over the January 21st entry like there's nothing too special but it sort of touches on like a massive idea of who she's talking to so here's the 21st of January as promised I haven't told my parents anything about you Sometimes I wonder if I can keep this up, the white lies, the half-truths. But then I hear your words echoing in my head. Tread lightly, think of the ramifications, and I stay the course. I'm focusing on your other lessons, how to control my speed, how to channel my emotions, and I've become more aware of my emotions, of the emotions of everyone around me. My father is teaching me many of the same things as you, in fact, how to stay in the moment, look around, take my time with the choices. It's funny, when I first came to this time, I thought I was here to run faster. Now I find myself constantly slowing down. So this is a massive teaser for Sherlock to find out who she is working with because it's definitely you. It's a person. He can infer that. And the fact that this guy or this person, obviously we know it's reverse flash, but coming from Sherlock's perspective it's definitely a speed that he can tell that that he's been or he or she has been teaching Nora how to use her speed and so it's actually remarkably similar to what Barry's been teaching her so that's a nice parallel between the reverse slash and him and how sort of similar they are but not at the same time and so the last shot of the trailer is the very similar shot from that uh, first trailer we got and it is of Nora as she sort of looks down then she looks up and this is at the point of the massive reveal. So let's move on and talk about the photos just before we end this video. So we, the, we see these photos, there's two photos in the hospital and so this is most likely with when they're visiting Grace and they're like, oh she's in the coma but how is this future version here? Oh shit, she's from the future. And so we see Barry as he's sort of just looking in shock and again Nora's got that same face but we move on and we see this shot of Nora and a lot of these photos are of Nora from like her perspective like just from the side but focusing on her rather than Barry because it's all about Nora's sort of reactions in this episode I think so this is just a nice photo of her and Barry in the field and my favorite shot of these photos is this one with Nora sort of just looking up she's outside she's in her XX costume and this is like oh, you can tell it's just like just before she reveals everything but then we move on we see this shot this photo inside of Barry's lab like there's paper all over the ground Cecile Joe and Nora is there so I don't know they've been flicking through those boxes you can see in the background don't know what it's about but again it's probably to do with future cicada so we see this nice photo of Nora as she's in this sort of 
fairground place or like a nursery or something like that. Like definitely a kid's place that we keep on seeing in these photos and she's probably with Grace. And then we go over to the most interesting part and this is at the massive reveal of Nora actually working with Reverse Flash. And we see this, they're all huddled up, all of Team Flash, all in this one singular photo. And look at Iris and Barry's faces. Oh my god. I cannot wait for the scene because it's just going to be such a massive reveal. And we saw in the trailer, Barry freaking tears up. He tears up over that. That is like the worst reveal that could happen to you as a father, but also as a hero because he's his arch nemesis. Come on. And so we get various sort of back and forth photos of the reactions of Team Flash throughout these photos and then we go over to the last few photos and this is of future cicada so of grace and she's wearing the cicada mask and i have to say i do like the look of sort of the aesthetic she's going for and how this is sort of like i guess you could mix up the two versions of cicada if, like you're the news or something and how similar they are like how she's just taking orland's persona but then she's something different and she looks even more menacing than the original cicada and so we see her in that same place you know balloons in the background she's got cicada's dagger and the suit is very very similar it's just a bit sort of more conventional like she's got just a hoodie underneath and she's got normal trousers but she's got the full-on hood and everything and the gloves and the mask as well so that's very interesting but Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. Also turn on notifications and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show to stay updated because I'm very, very active over there. So I'll see you guys later, goodbye.